But I, I want to give you another uh, duty of water uh, which will relieve your mind greatly because this one totally replaces petrol. You have a little stream trickling along here. You can lead it out a bit and then drop it quite easily. So we we'll let it out a little shallow box and we dropped it. And uh, I'll, I'll do the details up here. You have a sort of large funnel and inside the funnel you have a solid uh, cone of aluminium all drilled out with holes and you put lots and lots of drinking straws in it. And then you put the water down this funnel. It sits in a box and the way it goes down here. Now what's the effect of that? What do you think happened? The water goes down that pipe, but what else is coming down? Why those little, little drinking straws there? Yeah. Because as the water flows down here, it sucks air. Because the higher the pressure uh, or speed, the lower the pressure. So all those little straws are sucking air desperately. And that means there are thousands of little bubbles entering this water stream that were not there up there. Down she goes. Now as those bubbles rise fairly slowly and the water falls fairly fast, they never actually get out. So down she goes. I'll interrupt it here and we'll look down at the bottom again. Now this pipe is turned into a large underground chamber. You can see you need a few miners. And that's 100 to 300 feet or, you know, 100 metres deep. Down come all the bubbles that go in here. You can have a steel splash pan. The, the bubbles get out and go to the top of the chamber naturally, you know. They can, they can get free of the water now. But the water gets uh, up here and goes back up here and goes on. Uh, so the water's not used. But what do you think happened to the bubble on the way down? It's got 200 feet of water above it, didn't it? Got tiny, didn't it? Yeah, highly pressurised. Did it get hot like it does in your bike pump? No. Why didn't it? totally surrounded by water and so the water very rapidly removes any heat of compression. So this air is, is very valuable, it's called isothermically compressed. Two L's and a Y, isothermically. It's, it's the same temperature all the way down. Now isothermically compressed air is not air which is hot and contains vaporised oil like it does out of a compressor. It's very, very clean. It's the sort of air you would like to have in your breathing apparatus when you die. And uh, it, it can be sold for that. Are you diving or what? How are you going to get it? Easy. We make a little hole down to there and we take it up to our workshop, put a little tap on it. And we've got a vast reservoir of isothermically compressed air. Uh, uh, every 25 feet we go down, we've got 14 psi or something. We go down to 150 feet, we've got 140 psi, uh, something like that. 140 psi will blow your tire to pieces. and uh, you put it in your child's ear to clean out the dust and you take their head right off.
Um, so this air is, goes up to your workshop now and you've got a compressed air workshop. Compressed air will drive every machine that anything else will drive. But there are some things to do that you can do with compressed air you can't do with anything else. For instance, you can lead a little pipe into an insulated room and open the tap. And what happens? Speak, bastard. <laughs> what happens when we suddenly release pressure? It gets cold. So you, you let a little pipe go in an insulated room, what you got? Bloody great freezer. So the other thing is, we can bottle it, just as you would bottle any gas. And we can feed it into a regulator, any gas regulator, and we can take it to a motor uh, and drive it, because what we're dealing with is a gas. It goes through the motor uh, and comes out as air. But hot or cold air. Thank you. And so they used to make motor cars and, and thousands of them in the old days, which had a little uh, gas cylinder under the seat, three cubic meters, three cubic feet little seven horse slide valve steam engine purrs along theoretically unlimited speed uh, slide valve because your exhaust ices up so exhaust pipe was taken to the back of the car where you had a large wicker basket with champagne and chicken and vodka in 